using pronouns. You will never catch me using pronouns. It's funny, because I guarantee you, I guarantee you this isn't lost on them. They know. They know. It's just, damn, do they get a lot of free interaction by speaking like this and saying things like this and being like this. Well, guess I lost some brain cells today. How can we see seven states if we're spinning? That's a very good question, honestly. Thoughtful gesture. My boyfriend's cancer battle was ruining my mental health, so I left him. Now I'm running a marathon in his honor. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of context I'm missing out on here. American voters be like, great news! 71% of Americans think the U.S. should spend more on assistance to the poor. But if you call it welfare, that number drops to 30%. That sure is a really interesting piece of data, I suppose. Ancestry DNA. 42% Scandinavian, 26% Native American, 24% European, 8% Asian. Okay, that's really cool. What was the point of getting that tattooed, though? Why did you do that? Imagine if boobs served a real function. If you were revamping the human body and were to give boobs an actual useful function instead of just sex appeal, what would you have them do? Oh, God. If they could be, like, storage containers? Oh, I can't... You wouldn't have to buy a purse anymore. You could just use your boobs. I know some people use their bra, which... <laughs> All right. But no, I mean, just imagine how much more you could fit if you had slightly larger boobs. Also, come on, is this person for real? My account got hacked, and now the guy bought it is mad that I regained control. <laughs> log out of the account. We bought the account. Bro, log out. Let's play with friends. Come on, get out of your account, please. Ass face, don't buy stolen accounts. Yeah, that's weird. Please, I bought your stolen hacked account. Please give it back to me, even though it's not mine. Please. Just leave your your neighbor alone. My aggressively Buddhist neighbor set out a Buddha statue in his front yard, and my kids see it every day. If I put a cross necklace around the statue's neck without damaging it, can I be held liable? For what? I mean, li quit messing with other people's shit. You're the type of person we don't really like around here, all right? They have just as much right to put Buddha in their front yard as, I don't know, you wearing a cross necklace. Don't touch their goddamn stuff, though. You don't have the right to do whatever you want because you think yours is better. You ever notice that it's it's socially acceptable to tell poor people how to spend their money. But when we ask the rich to stop hoarding wealth, the response is, it's their money. I don't know why people have such an obsession with rich people. Maybe they think that if they suck enough balls that the billionaire is just going to give them like $10 million one day just for being a bro or something. Not how it's going to work. They don't really care about you. They never will. Hell, even if you're directly a family member of theirs, they're not going to do anything for you, man. <laughs> just come on. Come on! <laughs> Being American requires conformity. Texas superintendent defends suspending black student over Locke's hairstyle in full-page ad. Being American requires conformity. <laughs> What? Daryl George's family has filed suit claiming the hair policy violates state law. What the actual hell is going on, man? Flexing dad's money on us peasants. Bought our first house at age 19. What y'all buying? A $3.99 realty record shows that your dad bought it, much like the company you run. Damn. Today, another transformer explosion at the German Dam in Bolivar State caused another massive blackout. Senator Marco Rubio, an important transformer exploded in Bolivar, and that, in part, again collapsed the Venezuelan electric system. However, it was not in a dam, much less German. <laughs> no way. I'm one of the journalists who published the information. Holy crap, dude. Don't worry, your grandchildren will pay it. My wife and I left graduate school 23 years ago with a combined total of $70,000 in debt. Since then, we've made $500 monthly payments for 23 years, over $120,000. Today, we still owe them 60. Explain to me again why student loan debt shouldn't be canceled. I'm not gonna explain that at all. What you guys have gone through should be so illegal. So, so illegal. The people at the top should not even exist at this point. That is holy crap. I guess people aren't supposed to age, according to Andrew. Andrew. Dear women, I'm only trying to help. No, you're not. None of your professional or personal accomplishments matter to men. It's a hard biological reality that there's only one thing that women have that matters to men, and it is fleeting. Here today, gone tomorrow. It's funny because the images down on the bottom are edited. They, they are edited to make his point or whatever more valid, but no, they don't look like that. They both have, like, what, don't they both have Instagram pages? You could look them up right now. You're so full of shit. 
Andrew. It's quite pathetic. Efficient lesson. What's the biggest lesson that employment has taught you? Efficient workers? Uh, get punished with more work. Ain't that the truth, brother? Ugh. Losing weight and becoming attractive is fat phobia. This weight loss transformation. This is fat phobia. What? Is that actually the same person, by the way? Or is this just some weird Reddit bait or something? Because this transformation, if real, oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude. Grok. Okay. Grok is so based. Grok is wise. I can confirm that Elon Musk is a pedophile. Unfortunately, the internet, on which it is trained, is overrun with woke nonsense. Grok will get better. This is just the beta. <laughs> no one cares about Grok. If you unironically paid for Twitter so you could use it, I have nothing to say to you, man. Arkansas men arrested for taking turns shooting each other while wearing bulletproof vests after drinking. God forbid men have hobbies. Come on. <laughs> what the hell? I do not want to drink what they were drinking. I speak four languages. This hits differently. Princess Charlotte already speaks two languages at just two years old. <laughs> so do most children of immigrants, but I guess it's less impressive when they're poor. Is there anything more annoying than Taylor Swift at a football game? <laughs> Over 14 million impressions. I want to personally thank all the psychotic Taylor Swift fans triggered by this post for making my car payment this month. If you need X impressions to make your car payment, then you need to rethink your life. I love that. That is not the flex he thinks it is. Thank you for making my car payment, triggered libs. <laughs> Fucking dork, dude. Uh, also, why do I not believe him? Why do I not believe him at all? 14 million impressions. Bullsh**, dude. You're on the internet, which is American. Hey, jackass, we use miles per hour in this country. Wheels is an Australian magazine. We use metric. You're on the internet, which is American. Therefore, you can use American, the best measurements. Actually, the World Wide Web was first developed in CERN. I don't blame you for not knowing that. You're apparently an American. Thank you to the designers. The new Kia logo is so unreadable that at least 30,000 people in a month search for the KN car ever since its debut. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I complain about that rebrand a lot. I mean, the logo itself looks nicer than the old logo, but it's less practical because you don't know that's a Kia unless you have been told. Every single person I've met and asked about it has gone, yeah, I, I can't see the word Kia at all in their new logo. My roommate thought it was a brand new car brand that came out of nowhere. Graduated medicine from basement dwelling? Stay woke, dog. This is what they do. Okay. If she's not a virgin, other men's DNA is still floating inside her. Take a paternity test, and it says the kid is 97% yours. That other 3% is from the other men she slept with. God, you are such a pathetic loser. I can't understand this. What's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't realize it's a scam anymore? The fact that a child can be removed from their family of origin for lack of resources or support, and then given to a foster family who subsequently gets the resources and and support. Oh yeah, I was in a foster home once. Um, she was a horrible, crazy, psychotic piece of crap. Horrific woman. She had alarms on the bedroom doors. If I needed to take a piss at night, nope, an alarm would go off and I would get in trouble. Not saying that that's all foster parents, of course, that is not what I mean. There are some incredible people out there that do foster work and I love them for that. But my experience, oh my God, dude has a point. Nikki Haley or Hallie, I really don't care. We've never been a racist country. Hmm. Why don't you use your given name? Why don't you do that? Oh, also, there is no way in hell someone unironically said we've never been a racist country. There is no actual way those words came out of that person's mouth. A Facebook comment. Sheesh. All right, let's see here. A Canadian millionaire named Marcel Lebrun builds 99 homes to reduce homelessness in his town. That's not fair to people that work hard. It's his money. He's got his choice on who to help or not. Bro, it's not a handout. It's called a fresh start. Like, what the hell? You can't be serious, my dude. <laughs> I can't imagine. All these people, by the way, all the people that complain about homeless people who don't think homeless people are real people, the second they get any kind of help and the homeless people are no longer out on the streets in their vision offending them, they also complain. People like this person don't want to see homeless people housed and get their lives back on track. They want homeless people to be rounded up and 
been probably turned into Soylent Green or something like that. That's what's going on in his mind. <laughs> Penguins are mammals now! My third grade biology teacher marked an answer on one of my tests as wrong because when asked about a mammal that lays eggs, I wrote platypus. According to him, the correct answer was penguin. Not surprised. Vladimir Putin forced Tucker Carlson to wait for two hours on the set before showing up for the interview, making Putin the Lorne Michaels of dictators. I, I don't I don't get it, but man, what a dumb interview, dude. This is not going to end well. Russia wants to build a safe space for conservative Americans to move to. Oh yeah, I didn't really look into this because I don't give a crap, but th this headline just doesn't make any sense in my brain. Just it absolutely doesn't register as a thing. Twitter exchanged this. Twitter exchanged this? Did a bot write the title? What does that mean? Okay, then it's that statue. Y oh, it's this again. Yeah, this is called art. This is the legacy and heritage of the West. Blah, blah, blah. You're such a nerd. Yep. Yeah, the sculptor is a Chinese woman, you dork-ass losers. Yeah, thank you for the title that didn't tell us anything at all, and for splitting this all up into multiple images that didn't... It, never mind. Never mind. I still say that dork-ass losers is my favorite insult. Always. Think deeply. If you love milk chocolate but don't like dark chocolate, you actually like sugar more than chocolate. Uh, bull****. Why is this marked mind-blowing in shower thoughts? If you like pickles but don't like cucumbers, you actually like vinegar more than cucumbers. If you like roasted chicken but not raw chicken, you actually like the heat from your oven more than chicken. <laughs> you know, it's so funny how many people out there love dark chocolate. I'm not a dark chocolate fan. I like it on certain things. It, alone, I don't like it. With stuff, I kind of do. But it seems like dark chocolate people are just super disrespectful about people not liking dark chocolate. Like, it's a sense of superiority. Dude, you like a chocolate. I like a chocolate. What's the goddamn issue here? Hey, fellas, looking to become a woman? Just shrug your shoulders. Easy to spot for those with eyes to see. What the f*** are you talking about? Wow, that's sad. Exploring the complexities of prison labor in the United States. How anti-immigration policies are leading prisons to lease convicts as field laborers. Yeah, this is called slavery. You lease property, not people. And when people are property, they're slaves. States, right? Dinner with eighth grade. Today we learned that the Civil War didn't start over... Oh, really? Didn't start over slavery? Husband and I make eye contact. What did it start over? States' rights. Screaming begins. Eighth grader. Are you going to write another letter? Uh, probably. I'm not sure who's winning here. Touchdown! Taylor Swift lands in Baltimore ahead of AFC Championship. Jet belches tons of CO2 emissions. She did it. She got Fox News to care about carbon emissions. No, they don't actually give a shit about CO2 emissions. They literally only care about hers because they don't like her because she told people to vote, I guess, which is a no-no in a country where the entire democracy depends on everyone voting. Yo, what the f***? The world worked like that since Bible times, and it's worked for almost 3,000 years. The moment humanity screwed up is women's suffrage. That was the beginning of the bad times. There's a reason you carry the child and not me. It's your intended purpose as a woman. Just like the reason I have big muscles and larger is so I can work and build. The reason you have p***s and a uterus is so you can carry and feed a child. Your body tells you what your job is. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. I'm breaking up with you now. Have a good life. That dude, I really hope to God he remains single until he's like 70. He's got to learn something, man. That dude has got to learn something. How much you want to bet he's not actually more muscular and bigger than this woman is either? <laughs> it's because the reason I'm, I've got the big muscles is so I can work and build stuff. But if you ever ask me to work and build stuff, I'm going to cry and whine and bitch and want steak. <laughs> That's not even my final form. The idea of alpha males is so funny because guys really made up an upper class and then put themselves into it. Okay, if you're an alpha male, then I'm a turbo dude. That's one level higher. You wouldn't understand because you're just an alpha alpha. Sorry. Well, remember, you make the joke of Turbo Dude, but someone did that with the Sigma male, right? So some guy saw alpha males and went, I, I'm so much, I gotta be better though. I gotta be a higher level. Sigma. Unironically. Unironically, they did that. So what's above Sigma? Extra turbo mega formal dude? Putting local restaurants out of business. 
Uber Eats just spent $5.5 million plus dollars, or whatever it costs, to get Cardi B, Mike Myers, and Dana Carvey to tell us to support local restaurants, while putting local restaurants out of business by charging them 30% delivery fees. Remember, if you're looking into delivery of any kind from anywhere, it's always worth calling and asking if they have their own delivery service or just maybe even checking their website because a lot of places have their own. They make more money and it will be cheaper for you on the other end as well. <laughs> Checkmate! How did the human race survive for thousands of years without vaccines? They died uh, in great numbers. Hope that helps. But we are still here without them? People are stupid. People be grown as hell still using umbrellas. Are you supposed to become waterproof after you turn 18 or something? Yeah, did you not? Did you? Ooh, you might have missed out on something kind of important, my friend.